Hi, my name is Dr. John Chong. It is a great pleasure to be here at Mondo Musica at, in New York City, 2014, uh, to talk about the uh, health and wellness of musicians. Uh, a bit of my background, I am the medical director of the Musicians Clinics of Canada. I teach at the Glenn Gould School at the Royal Conservatory in Toronto, and I'm currently the president of the Performing Arts Medicine Association. So let's uh, start at the beginning. Why is this an important uh, issue for musicians and also those who make uh, instruments? Is because there are health and safety risks associated with these endeavors. The main problems that we see uh, are, would be, number one, hearing loss, which is uh, probably the most uh, sinister of the problems because you don't really notice it until it's too late. The second one would be overuse uh, injuries. Uh, related to, to muscle fatigue and nerve entrapments. And the third one, but probably the most important now, you know, are the psychological uh, hazards of uh, performing, uh, such as performance anxiety, general anxiety, and uh, depression associated with the stress of um, you know, trying to make a living doing uh, this beautiful art. So a bit about the Performing Arts Medicine Association. Uh, it's been around for just over 30 years. Uh, it has uh, been uh, a physician-based organization now spread out to educational um, uh, organizations, uh, educators, researchers, administrators, and of course, most importantly, the performing artists themselves. We cover, of course, musicians, dancers, uh, music theater, and uh, other aspects of the performing arts industry. Our main uh, charge now um, in the last uh, few years is to collaborate with many other organizations. Uh, we are working with the National Association of Schools of Music, which includes 644 schools of mu music that have made uh, health and safety uh, part of their accreditation. We're working with the uh, sports medicine folks in a program called Athletes and the Arts to see the cross uh, fertilization between the two disciplines, which uh, indeed there are, and uh, other uh, big educational organizations like the Music Teachers National Association. Now, why Mondo Musica? Because uh, violins uh, are a uh, huge across uh, the world and you know, today we're going to talk about uh, some of the has health and safety hazards of playing violins and hopefully talk about uh, those uh, uh, individuals working very hard making beautiful instruments. Uh, as far as uh, the details go, um, the specific injuries that are most common uh, that is affect 84% of uh, professional orchestral musicians during their working lifetime are uh, overuse or musculoskeletal disorders. That's an astounding number that 84% uh, of individuals will be affected and 50% of them are working hurt in uh, orchestras. This is a recent Australian study uh, that has uh, looked at uh, this big problem. It has been looked at by the international um, uh, uh, musicians Union and uh, all the studies that have looked at the prevalence or how common these injuries are uh, usually around 80 percent or so. So it's very very important uh, health and safety issues uh, that, that affect this occupational group and uh, what we would like to do is introduce concepts of health and wellness that is diet, exercise, stress reduction and, and uh, other types of um, uh, interventions that could be helpful. I think today we'll get into some of the instrument ergonomics, that is how instruments are designed, adjustments of chin and shoulder rests, uh, optimal exercise, practice patterns, how much you practice, how hard, how much time you take off to rest, and of course most importantly your sleep and your general health and welfare period. It's uh, going to be a big challenge uh, internationally and hopefully we can work together uh, further in this uh, expanding field of health and safety uh, in the arts. We welcome you to join the Performing Arts Medicine Association by coming to our website artsmed.org and uh, collaborate uh, in the future um, looking at uh, some of these uh, big, big health problems in this industry. Thank you very much.